This goes out to all Christians who follow Brandon Tatum, who I used to follow Brandon Tatum myself. I, I think the guy is on point when it comes to politics, but there's something more nefarious going on here. Again, and this is particular to the Christians who follow Brandon Tatum. Brandon Tatum is very adamant about Jesus Christ not being God. And he's actually stemming um, almost at the point, some people might uh, call it blasphemous, the way he he mocks Christ when he said that Jesus Christ couldn't even raise himself up from the dead, right? So that's mockery there, right? Jesus couldn't even resurrect himself. Jesus was dead. You can agree to disagree all you want with me, but you don't have scripture. I, I am giving scripture. See, I have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit has revealed these things to me. If Jesus is dead and he had to be resurrected, who resurrected Jesus? Um, but he goes on. He doesn't believe in, in Christ. And, and I'm going to leave a video up here where he's talking about a Christ privilege and, and this and that. And he comes out and he's selling shirts like this, which makes absolutely no sense to me. Absolutely no sense to me on a theological point of view, on a, on a Christian point of view. When you don't believe Christ is God, why are you selling a shirt that says Christ privilege? Are you trying to do the, the whole grifting thing? Are you, are you a grifter? Are, are you trying to grift on the Christian community that follows you? Because you, you clearly don't believe in Christ, yet you're selling shirts like this. This is food for thought for all you Christians out there who follow Brandon Tatum. Um, and, and look what the Bible says on people like Brandon Tatum. Second John, I'm going to be reading for you guys to, from Second John um, from 7 to like verse 10. Look, it's a very famous verse. You guys know it. It says like this, I, I say this because many deceivers who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh have come out into the world. Any such person is a deceiver and the Antichrist. Watch out that you do not lose what we have worked for, but that you may be rewarded fully. Anyone who runs ahead and does not continue in the teachings of Christ does not have God. Whoever continues in the teachings has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not take do not take them into your house or welcome them. Some version says, "Do not wish them Godspeed." Anyone who welcomes them shares in their wicked work. That's what the Bible says on people like Brandon Tatum. But I pass the question off to you: Is Brandon Tatum grifting off the Christian community? In my opinion, without a question of a doubt. Hit that like button, hit that share button. I'm interested to know what you guys think. I am Valentine. God bless. God speed me, Valentine. I am out.